to put two seconds back on the clock, perhaps. They've reset it to 44 now. These guys up front have made plays all day. Wilson, out of his end zone, throws it away. I, I don't think they were prepared for this, Bill. The pressure, the amount of swarm to the football. They, these guys on Coastal have not given up on a play at all. Every All 11 guys swarmed to the ball. It's to Ron Jackson. Running out of time. Wilson out of the end zone. It's caught for the first down at the 41 yard line. A leaping grab by Romney. Wow. The Cougars are still alive with 26 seconds left. Romney's down. But what an effort by Romney to go up and secure the catch. He knows he's going to get hit. It's a good throw. It's a little bit behind his target, but still, look at the effort. We talked about Romney's ability to make those big plays in big moments. Two snaps left in the game, maybe three. On the 46, Wilson over the middle. Now you got a spike. That's Milne with nine. Now they got to go. And okay. a spike with seven seconds left. Game of the year. And it got put together <laughs> on a whim on Thursday morning when Liberty backed out because of COVID, couldn't play. BYU said, anybody, anywhere, we'll come to Conway, South Carolina. Comes down to one final play. Right there on the outside, that's Zach Wilson's roommate. He trusts him. And the timeout taken by the shot to clear. Coastal Carolina, their third and final of the half. We talk about the arm strength timeout. of Zach Wilson. This is the Hail Mary at the end of the first half. He throws this from the 35 yard line, his own 35 yard line. Look at that. So he's got the arm to get it there, no doubt. And so now Jeff Grimes and Aaron Roderick will combine on what is our best play. And the fact that Romney's not there is potentially an issue here. And remember, if, if Coastal gets home here, brings pressure, game's over. One play. No timeouts left for BYU. Here it is, Billy. One final chance for Zach Wilson and the BYU Cougars. Now they're going to they're gonna give you all this area up here. There's nobody covering up top. Dax Milt, he's wide open. The throw to the right. It is caught, and he steps out of bounds, does Milne. So they will get one more. I spoke too soon. Now they've got three seconds left. you got a shot to the end zone here. Easy shot There's down. nobody up top. They just allow him to go right past the sticks. Easy pitch and catch. It takes six seconds off, or four seconds off the clock, excuse me. So now Zach Wilson can work anywhere. And here's what you do if you're Coastal. You put every defender's heels on the goal line, and you be ready to knock it down. Last chance for the Cougars. Mill the catch, wrestled down on the two. Coastal wins it.
This almost reminds me of the end of that Super Bowl Titans Rams. Remember how close he gets? Boy, this is how close this game was fought. It, Bill, it's, it stinks somebody's got to lose this game because it was well fought back and forth, and it was physical. If you like defense, came to the right place. They're going to look at the monitor on replay just to just make, to make, to sure. make yeah. sure. But Coach Sataki is already making his way to midfield to meet with Jamie Chadwell. These teams scheduled this game on Thursday, and they gave us an amazing show tonight. It came down to the last play, and there is going to be one heck of a party in Myrtle Beach tonight. They shut the bars down at 11, though, Billy. This was so close at the end. Zach Wilson steps up. He wants to give Dax Mill. That's, that's the target he, he tries to go to in these situations. His, it's his roommate. So close. Listen, Bill, you have to give BYU credit. They manned up and got on a plane with four-hour notice, whatever it was. I mean, you had 60 hours to put this game together, and they didn't shy away from it. They showed up.